Hello everyone, it's Nim. Today is Wednesday and Wednesday means Sims 4. As you probably know by now if you are a frequent visitor of this channel. If this is your first time here, very welcome to my channel. It is a channel where I do building stuff mostly in The Sims 4 and sometimes in Planet Zoo as well. But Sims 4 is my main game and I just absolutely love it. This month is Spooktober and in Spooktober we are building creepy horror related homes. We have built a number of homes and we have also built a very different home. So we started off with a vampire shell challenge just to get us warm for this October feeling. Then we immediately went to American Horror Story, which is one of my favorite TV shows. I absolutely love how creepy it is. After that, we have done some amazing things. And honestly, tell you the truth, I can't even remember all of that. That's because I really don't have such a good memory. Like I remember the vampire village, the murder house, house um, then I did the Adams Family, I did a Resident Evil uh, 7 um, build, Resident Evil 7. And I did something else, but I can't... Oh, I did a Nightmare on Elm Street. And I think that brings us to now. And now we are building a home, which you will see in a number of horror movies. This is the abandoned home in the woods. And not abandoned as is that it is. Looks abandoned and it looks creepy. No, abandoned as is. Um, like meaning it is the only home in the entire forest. That's it. So the inspiration for this home I took from the movie uh, Secret Window. Secret Window starring Johnny Depp. I love Johnny Depp. I, I love Johnny Depp. He is so handsome and I know there's a lot of like stuff with him in the news and I don't really keep track of all that. But when I was a teenager, I used to be a diehard fan of Johnny Depp. And I would have like posters of his face all over my wall. And I still have a collection of all his movies. So yeah, I was kind of obsessive when I was a teenager. Kind of still am. But you know, uh, let's not uh, focus on me. Let's focus on the build. So an in secret window, um, Johnny Depp plays this writer, Morton Rainey. And basically one day some dude from Mississippi shows up and says that uh, Mort stole his story. Which of course Johnny Depp is certain of which, that he didn't. And then this entire spooky and creepy event start happening. I personally really love that movie and I'm not gonna spoil the ending. Because you know, watch it. It's on Netflix so make sure you watch it. It's really, really good. So this home is completely inspired by that home. So we're gonna have like kind of the same layout. Um, although it is different in many ways because the actually they like the cottage in real life it is quite small and the layout is weird like it has such a weird layout that you can't actually do that in the sims so you know improvise a lot so i managed to make it work and we are gonna have some issues with it but you know what it's fine like the thing i had the most issue with i wanted to have like this open uh, hallway upstairs so you could actually look down because I absolutely love that but once I did that like the all the windows would disappear and I really don't know why they did that um, I have cut it out of the video because um, it took me and I, I kid you not it took me almost 30 minutes to make it work and it still didn't work the way I wanted it because over the stairs there's this little railing that's still there and I can't delete that because if I delete that, the ceiling disappears. And I don't know why. Um, I usually say that I'm a pretty good and confident builder. Um, when stuff like this happens, I always feel like a person who has never built anything in their life. But I'm guessing I'm not the only one there. You'll see what I mean here. Like um, I remove that one bit and then it just it doesn't work. So we end up just putting a wall there. I know it looks really unrealistic and not really safe, but you know what? Um, we're just gonna roll with it and that is fine. It doesn't really matter for this build, at least, well, it matters, but not that much. Let's just leave it at that. So, um, unfortunately, I had to go back to work this week. So, like last week, I was on, on holiday, autumn break. Love it, because in autumn break, I actually get a chance to build a lot. 
So, and I always hope that the Sims team does, like, don't come out with important updates, such as the window update in my last holiday, because I built so many things before the window update, and I still have them on my computer and on my hard drive. I just never uploaded them. Like, maybe if, uh, if one time I'm short for a video, I will go into that and I will use it as my backlog, but... Those builds there are very weird because obviously the placing of the windows and like uh, it was before I had the debug mod as well, so, you know. Actually, I still have a build in there before debug was a thing. Like just wow. <laughs> just wow. So right now we are finishing up the exterior. Now we are moving over to landscaping. And landscaping, we are using obviously the debug because I have this debug uh, mod installed, which I absolutely love. And we are actually going to use a lot of the debug plants and items, mostly from Outdoor Retreat, because that is where I built this a uh, lot. I did build it in the world of Granite Falls, and Granite Falls is the world that came with Outdoor Retreat. And I believe Outdoor Retreat was a game pack. Right, because you have expansion packs, those are like the big ones, like seasons. Then you have game packs, which adds gameplay, so that would be like holidays, so outdoor retreat. And then you have stuff packs, which adds, well, stuff. I really can't say anything more about it. Like the problem I had here, because sometimes um, it will be very red and say, oh, can't place on uh, not non flat terrain. Yeah, that happened because apparently I work with terrain and debug items can't handle terrain. Apparently, or maybe just in my game, because my game does some weird things. I don't know why, but you know, it is what it is. So we had to soften out the entire terrain, but you know what, it's fine. And we're actually making this little forest area because we are in the middle of a forest. And even though I know Granite Falls is like this big camping, basically, I absolutely love it. I love how this uh, like home turned out. I feel it is really the that generic horror movie home that you see in almost every movie. Like I was wondering if I sh I wanted to make like this generic home that you would see in every horror movie, and I was wondering if I should go for the cabin in the woods, or if I would go for this one. So from Secret Window, and I'm actually really happy that I went with the Secret Window one because I feel like the cabin in the woods, although very recognizable um like horror wise it is a very um like rundown home and i feel like um a lot of horror movies have like homes in the woods that are kind of nice and then creepy stuff happens to the home instead of like immediately having a creepy home as, except of course when you're cabin in the woods or um evil dead night of the evening dead and dawn of the evil dead i think i feel like that's the trilogy right the evil dead things I honestly don't remember, I just watched the remake of 2013. And I believe I watched that in the cinema and it freaked me out. Oh my gosh. But absolutely loved it. Like I have been loving horror movies ever since I was four. And that is when I watched my first horror movie. And I, I think I already told this story, but I can't remember. So I'm just gonna tell you guys again. So when I was four, there was this, ju this Dutch um, horror movie and it was made for children. But it was very creepy, like actually it was ages, I believe it was ages 6, because we didn't have the age 9 yet, so I believe it was 6. And it was about this werewolf that would terrorize this small town, and um, like it would turn into a werewolf obviously with full moon, and then it would kill all the citizens of this little town. And there was this very evil king and his wife, and then there were like two people, and they... Um, like in the present day, they traveled back with a time, mach time machine and they accidentally turned on. And then they end up in that town with a werewolf. So you guys are probably not going to watch it because most of you aren't Dutch. And if you are, um, I don't think there's a way to watch it because it is very old. And when I say very old, I feel like uh, 2001 because that's when I was four. And... Um, basically, like the king turns out to be the werewolf, which like mind is blown my four-year-old mind was just like whoa what the heck he's the werewolf and i ever since then i absolutely love horror movies like love it i used to um like obviously like my mom didn't really allow me to watch scary movies and watch horror movies so 
in secret I would go on like popcorn time and um, watch channel and I would watch stuff like uh, The Ring or The Grudge and later Soul as well and I was just like whoa it's so gruesome but then like the idiot being that I am being my naive little self I like talked about it with my mom and I like completely forgot that obviously she was gonna know that I watched it even though I wasn't allowed so um, yeah <laughs> Like in the end, she didn't matter. She was just like, well, I just thought you were a little bit young, but you know, you've always had a sense for the paranormal and the scary things. You've always liked that ever since you were little. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. I can't help it. I just love scary things. I love scary games as well. I mean, I can't play them because it stresses me out, but I love them. I love watching other people play them. Like I also, the thing that I love to do on holiday as well is like go out in the middle of the night. I especially like to go like on holiday in the woods and then in the middle of the night just wake up and walk outside in the woods with, with a flashlight. I love it and I know it's very dangerous or it could be very dangerous but it's fun. It really really is. So I think that's enough about the uh, horror movies and horror games for now. Another thing I've been getting into, I'm, I'm sorry if you're new here you're basically gonna get a podcast like a 20 minute podcast about me. Um, because I don't really have a lot to say about this build. I'm sorry, usually I talk more about the build, but this build, you know, it just speaks for itself. I mean, it's a writer character that lives here, so there are gonna be a lot of books and, and end of story. That, that's about it. Like, maybe in a minute I'll talk about it some more, but, you know, for now, <laughs> let's go back to my own story. So, another thing I've been getting into lately um, are musicals, and I've, like, I, I hate to say this, but as a kid I used to hate musicals. Like, I hated them with a passion. And the same in my teenage years, I was like, uh, musicals, musicals are for like pussies. Uh, you know, uh, me being the rebellion teenage emo girl that I was, I'd listen to rock music and not too much rock because I didn't really like the lyrics that they were singing, but like ACDC and Tokyo Hotel, that, that was like my emo face. And obviously Panic at the Disco and, you know, Paramore, all that stuff. And um, lately, I say lately, like since two years, year and a half, something like that, I have been really getting into musicals. So I took my mom for Christmas to the Adam Family musical. I've talked about it in the Adam Family um, video. So you want to know more about the musical, just go watch that video. And like before that, I was kind of into musicals. And then after that, I got really into musicals. So I'm really happy that I finally uploaded Hamilton to Disney Plus where I can finally watch it. And I'm so excited about it. Like I I've learned that entire musical like from start to finish. All the lyrics, I know them all. Which is maybe perhaps kind of crazy, but I love it. And obviously Heathers, oh, love it. And dear Evan Hansen, love it as well. And now lately, like lately last week, I um listened to Be More Chill. That is amazing. I am totally buying the soundtrack for that. You know, you could say download it and watch it on YouTube. Yeah, but I believe in buying soundtracks of things that I really like. And I really, really, really like the soundtrack of Be More Chill. Especially since um, when I love to sing and I have a quite a low voice. I'm like an old. I believe that's also the correct term in English. So I have a really, really low voice. So, for example, all the Disney songs are way out of my range i can't sing that i literally can't do it so sorry but i just i can't like let it go show yourself yeah but i, I sing at an octave lower sometimes maybe even two well two is a bit overreacting but like i sing at least one lower because i have a really low voice so when you have like musicals you have like the villain and the villain has this low energy voice very deep very moody that's perfect for my voice I can do that. I literally, I can just do that. I love doing that as well. I love, um, like, if you listen, if you listen to um, Les Miserables, the one with um, Russell Crowe and Hugh Jackman, everyone always always uh, complains about Russell Crowe having such an awful musical voice. I don't think he does. I actually think he has a quite pleasant voice to listen to, and all his songs are the perfect range for my voice especially stars like everyone hates when he does that i love it because i can relate to it obviously mine doesn't tremble that much but you know i'm not saying that i'm more professional than russell crowe but 
I'm more professional than Russell Crowe. But don't quote me on that, please. So, actually, I think... Oh, yeah, I remember the exact point when I got into musical. That was actually because of Les Miserables. Funny story, like, the trailer that was shown in my country, um, it did not portray that it was going to be a musical film. So, I went to the movies and I was just like, well, you know what, yeah, this is probably cool. Like, I already watched Sweeney Todd and I kind of like that because, you know, Johnny Depp. And then Les Miserables opened with a song and I was like, oh, yeah, like in Sweeney Todd. That's cool. And then they sang another song and I was like, well, okay, two songs in a row. Okay. And then a third one and I was like, crap, am I going to a musical? Is this a musical? And then halfway through the movie, actually like after the third song, I started counting the sentences that they spoke. In the entire movie, they have spoken 13 sentences. That movie is almost three hours long. I tell you... What the heck, as a girl who didn't like musicals, I was just sitting there like, oh crap, oh crap. And none of my, of the people that I went to, because she wasn't really my friend, um, she got a nosebleed. She was like, oh, can you walk me to the toilet? And I'm like, no, I'm going to miss this awesome song and it's it's good. And then suddenly I love musicals. So it's been a like a silent love since Lenny Serable and then since last year, I'm full out going out like, yes, I like musicals. I listen to them all the time. I actually have CDs of musicals. When I wake up, the music I put on are musicals. My friends and family are crazy. I'm driving everyone nuts. But it's okay, because I like it. <laughs> and that's what counts. Basically, that's my mood right now. So, if you know any good musicals, let me know down below. If you listen to musicals yourself, or if you hate musicals, let me know, know down below as well. I mean can all learn like maybe I can persuade you to listen to some very good musicals because there are very good musicals out there there are also pretty bad ones but you know what that's life maybe I should listen to Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is a musical right I'm not really sure I feel like I often see like songs from Beetlejuice on YouTube and I've actually listened to it maybe I should do that I'll put it on my list Anyways, um, I'll, I'll see if I can come back to the build now, if, if I manage. So right now we are decorating the kitchen. And now we are going upstairs for one more uh, painting that I felt like we needed a painting up there. Oh yeah, do you guys have that as well? That suddenly uh, you can't intersect objects with stairs anymore. Which is really weird because they have obviously the move objects cheat on, but sometimes it just does not work. Which is kind of annoying. But maybe that's just me, but it happens to me quite a lot. I think it might be one of my mods, but I don't know which one. And I already uninstalled all of them and it was still there, so it may not be one of my mods. Oh well. So right now we are finishing off this kitchen. And right now we have this really big rock in there, or the, but we are going to take that out because, you know, it was too big. So we're going to have like a little bit of smaller done. And actually, I think we're done with this build. I'm sorry, I didn't talk about the build at all. It will come next week, I promise, guys. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Please, please, please. It helps the YouTube algorithm, helps my channel grow. And I will hope to see you guys later. Bye, guys.